Hi guys, it's Becky at Babes in Hairland. Today we're excited to share with you our French knotted fishbone braid. Uh, this actually stems off from the technique that I showed a couple months ago that we called our knotted fishbone braid. Uh, to start with, you're going to make a ponytail up here on top from the temples back to the crown and secure it with an elastic. And then this first part is just like what we show in our video from a couple months ago where you divide this section into two. Take a small piece from the right side, pass it over that right section, under the left section, up and over it, and pull it through. Okay, so you've made a knot almost. Then on the left side, take a small section out, pass it over the left, under the right, and up and over the right, and pull it through. So that's the basic stitch of the knotted fishbone braid. Now to make this uh, French, we are going to add hair just like a French braid. So over here on the right side, I'm going to section out some hair and pull it back. Then grab a small section of hair from the ponytail I was working with to begin with. Same process, pass it over the right, under the left, and around and up and over, and pull it through. Okay, and you kind of, if you want it tighter, you've got to hold on to things. This is meant to be a looser style. If you use wet hair, it'll probably be um, a lot tighter and neater, but I wanted this to kind of be a little bit more relaxed. So now on the left side, gather some hair. Grab a small piece from that less left section, pass it over, then under the right section, up and over, and pull it through. And I just kind of keep cinching this and trying to make sure that those knotted loops um, peek through. So again, grab some hair from the right side, and if you see my comb caught a little section from that middle ponytail, so I didn't need to grab any with my fingers to add because it already was caught by the comb. Okay, so you're passing it over the right section, under the left section, up and over, and pull it through, and then cinch it up. Again, grab some hair near the face and draw it back. Grab a small section from the left, pass it over, pass it under, around, Pull it through. Okay, so we're going to continue this process adding hair and uh, wrapping it around each section. And we'll speed this up because until you get down to the nape of the neck, the process is the same just adding hair but making sure that you grab a small section from the middle where you're kind of working. So once you're to the point where you have no more hair to add, you're going to simply do the same thing like you did at the very beginning, where you're just taking a small section from each side, passing it over and under, and looping it around. And you'll do this down as far as you want, depending on the length of hair you're working with. I was starting to um, run into the ends of her hair that were a bit shorter in sections, so it was starting to get messier. And so I just simply combined it all here with a clear elastic. Once you've got the end secure, you can be done with it, or if you stay tuned to the end, I've got some pictures of another way that I finished it off. But you want to go back up here before you're completely done with the style and remove that elastic. Now I've got this cutter comb that I've shared before and I will link below, but there's a teeny razor in there and you just saw that off and it will pop the elastic out. So once you've done that, just take a comb and gently kind of combine that so it's not so defined as uh, a separate section in the top. And then if you want, I just went and uh, pulled on these a little bit to loosen things up a little bit more and pancake them. I didn't do it a ton but uh, because I wanted to have it sort of tight in there but loose around the sides. So here's the final spin, what it looks like. It's a really cool look, unique, and uh, is perfect for really any age or occasion. And like I said, stay tuned here just at the end. I have some pictures of how we pinned up the bottom and turned it into more of an updo and it looked as 
uh, just pretty like that as well. So you can wear this to school or to a fancy occasion. So thanks for watching. Please uh, comment below and let us know which version you like better. If you like it down just uh, with the elastic on the bottom or as you see here in this next picture, it's the updo version. So let us know which one you like best. And uh, again, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.